what's going on guys my name is Shane and I only got 12 minutes of memory to get this video out today so we are gonna kind of hustle welcome to week 14 of the pregnancy diaries to be honest I don't have a ton to talk about this week I felt like I said that last week too but last week was a culmination of three weeks this week I'm trying to get back on track with like the once a week updates um, so we're gonna jump right into the app because my phone also doesn't have that much battery um, but here's what's going on with my baby I don't think I showed you what they looked like last week, but honestly, there wasn't much change. I think I'm going the right way. Just a wee bit smaller. And I have mentioned before, you'll see down here, it says week 15. It's technically, I'm working on week 15. I'm 14 weeks and one day pregnant. So what's going on with my baby this week? Let us see. Skin is still super transparent. I can see just from the... Um, picture itself but it says yawning while mostly sleeping your little one is now able to blink and rub its eyes yawn and may even blink oh it's so cute hair growth even though it's hardly visible hair is starting to grow on your baby's head even the eyelashes and eyebrows are growing and hearing your little one is now able to hear sounds oh hi baby can you hear mama probably not I have a loud mouth, <laughs> maybe. Let's just get into how I've been kind of feeling last week. I know I kind of finished talking about like depression and stuff and I wanna kind of jump right back into that. This week I feel a little bit better. Definitely some days are, you know, better than others, just like with everything else. Um, I feel just more like irritable than I do depressed <laughs> this week. I'm finding, um, like little things are kind of, like I'm overreacting to little things a little bit more than I usually do and I'm trying to work on that I'm trying to be what's the word I'm trying to be observant and that's not really the word but that's the direction that I'm going I'm, I'm trying to be mindful I guess of how I'm reacting to certain situations because I know it's not just me reacting to that situation it's also my hormones reacting to that situation so I try not to blow things out of proportion, but I am still having like mood swings. But again, I'm more just like irritable than I am actually depressed. I remember last week there being like three or four days straight that I just was in a dark place. Um, I don't feel that severe this week. I think I had maybe like one day kind of like that and it wasn't even the full day where I just felt like I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to get out of bed and I was super unmotivated. But, you know, it, that'll get better over time. And there'll be times that I fall back into that and then I'll get out of it again and I'll fall back into it. It's just, that just, that's just my life personally. But, you know, pregnancy obviously does not help with that situation. Um, just kind of my mood swings. And I, like today in particular, I didn't even have a bad day. Like nothing bad happened. I think it's just like I feel like crap every day every day at some point i feel nauseous if i'm not um if i go a long time without eating i'll feel nauseous if i'm outside in the hot sun too long i'll feel nauseous but i think i've only thrown up once this week um and again it had to do with milk and it's just i wanted cereal i'm trying to stay away from milk because i know it's a big factor in me getting sick but like when you're just so hungry in the morning and you already feel nauseous from not eating and you don't want to take the time to cook a breakfast you just want a quick bowl of cereal I've been trying to add like less milk into my cereal and trying to have it be more of a dry cereal um, and that's helped a little bit but I did get sick once after a bowl of cereal this week so still there a little bit with the morning sickness but it's definitely getting better and most um most pregnant women feel like complete relief by week 16 so we got like two more weeks until hopefully there's no more morning sickness at all but we'll see my dreams have kind of returned i don't know if i talked about this last week or not i can't recall but like at the very beginning of my pregnancy when i first started these pregnancy diaries again i was having these like crazy vivid dreams and like scary dreams um and then they kind of went away for a couple weeks and now they're kind of creeping back but this time around they're not really scary um, but they do fuel a lot of emotion like if the dream makes me feel 
angry I'll wake up feeling like angry because of what happened in my dream obviously when I wake up I realize that it was just a dream but it kind of takes me a little bit to sort of pull myself out of that mindset and like start my day fresh I remember one time <laughs> one time this week I woke up so pissed at TJ and he's like he didn't even realize what he did but in the dream like he had overslept and the next day it was my daughter's first day of school and he like didn't want to go because he felt too tired I don't know it was just this whole dream and I woke up so pissed at him um, you know and then obviously I realized that it was a dream and we just got past and started our day together um, yeah but the dreams are kind of coming back which huh, I don't know how I feel about it because for a long time I don't I didn't remember any of my dreams like before I was pregnant there would be years where I could go without remembering any of my dreams and I started kind of missed miss I started missing having dreams but now I'm having a having them again and I'm like or I'm remembering them again I should say and I'm just like eh, maybe I could do without them <laughs> I don't know um some dreams are better than others but like the scary scary ones haven't really happened anymore I don't know other than that there's really been no like crazy change in my body I definitely have noticed I was breaking out quite a bit more than I normally do. Um, I try to be really good about going to bed with no makeup on. Obviously, there's some days where I'm just way too tired to take it off. I end up falling asleep, so I know that definitely doesn't help, but I feel like the breaking out has kind of gone down a little bit because I was also breaking out like crazy on my chest and it's like not nearly as bad as it was getting. But I do still feel like really exhausted and there'll be most nights I go to bed by like 10 o'clock the latest and that's pretty much if I'm like self tanning and I have to stay up for a while. Other than that I'm pretty much in bed between like 8.30 and 9. Um, even if I'm not like sleeping I'm just like on my phone and browsing Facebook or I'm you know on YouTube looking up videos. But there'll be some nights where I can fall asleep really easily and then some nights again that I'm kind of tossing and turning all night. And I don't know if it has to do with it just being so humid out recently but I'm finding it like really hard to breathe through my nose at night like I feel like my sinuses are just super clogged I know my daughter has the humidifier but I'm almost debating on getting one and just seeing like is that the issue or I don't know I don't think pregnancy I haven't ever read anything about pregnancy doing anything to your sinuses so I don't know if I'm just having allergies or if I'm just genuinely getting sick because my immune system is compromised because of being pregnant I'm not quite sure but I remember like last night in particular I could not breathe through my nose and had to like mouth breathe all night um so that was just one other thing that I noticed this week but other than that guys there really hasn't been much going on let me show you my baby bump real quick so again it's there um I'm sorry the background's probably making it kind of hard to see but also wearing a black dress doesn't <laughs> doesn't help um, but yeah it's there so pretty much I've been in tube dresses stretchy dresses recently not a whole lot different than last week because it's only been a week but I definitely have seen some major growth since we began, began this pregnancy diaries um, up until now so I'm gonna finish up the video before I run out of memory and I have to run downstairs to get a new memory card if you guys enjoyed this week's pregnancy diaries please show me by leaving a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions find this thumbnail on the community tab or you can find it on my Facebook and Instagram and leave your comment or question there make sure you hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any new videos and I'll hopefully Please see you in my next one. Bye guys!